I'm going to meet Ben, but I think I'm late. Ben! Whoa! Dude! Dude. Good to see Hi, you, man. So Ben is taking me on this mission in the French Alps for this photo series I've been wanting to do, but we don't know if we're going to be able to make it up there because the weather is unstable, as he calls it. Some sort of storm is coming, I don't know, but... It looks a little cloudy. How's it looking, Ben? Mm, could be stormy, which could be exciting if we're in a bivouac. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But first, let's take a step back. I want to tell you why I'm working on this series and why I want to make these photos, because I think the why is super important and we don't talk about it enough. Should we... Should we Put in a longer lens, maybe like a 50 or something. It's more emotional. What do you think? We're going 50. Get a little bit more intimate with the subject. We're getting intimate. Very. I do these photos, this outdoor photography, because it's in me. For every photo, I give it all I have. Do you hear this music? This actual song inspired me to come here. Music inspires me a lot. It, it's really emotional, I feel. Sometimes it brings me to tears, but the good tears, like it inspires you, you want to go make images out of that song. I have this need to go create images about being outside. It's hard to explain it. It's almost like the way I'm wired. I just need to be outside and... It starts with a simple idea. Let's go there and see what it's like. It's a really innocent process. Then there's the human element that kicks in. And people inspire me in this strange way. I think Ben's life is inspiring because he lives up here. This is, I don't know how many nights he spends up here a year, but way more than I do, and I think that's inspiring. I want to sh photograph that him in his element. I love the beginning and ending of things. That's why I shoot most of my images at sunrise or sunset. I mean, there's just way more tension at hey, the time of the day that's... Alex, what? we gotta go. What? Why? Ben's waiting in the car. Oh, already? Yo, how much more do we have to go? So, like 800 meters or so? <laughs> Hello? So, the weather's looking fine for now. It's clowning up a bit, but we looked at the radar once more time and it's looking like it's gonna hold. So, it is a really nice night. It's interesting how people always ask me, oh, how do you find these places where you go? Most of the time, I just meet people who live in a certain area, and when I'm thinking about, when I'm thinking about a shoot, um, and I'm somewhere, like here I'm in France, near Chamonix, I'm like, who do I know in Chamonix who I can just go talk to? And who can have a good time and who knows these mountains so we can go shoot together. At the end of the day, you just want to be open and, and eager to meet new folks like you just want to be able to connect but with Alex how do I meet these people <laughs> how do you meet these people well this is like a different question if you you know Instagram is a good place to start but what if I want to do this on my own on your own well I mean I love this kind of missions too uh, if I want to do that on my own I'd say I start with the topo map or just Google Maps Google satellite and start looking for spots that are interesting. Like here, you can see the there's lakes below, there's the wall of the Mont Blanc is here. So a good place to start looking at the maps. And then I move on to, I start digging on places where nobody looks, like Tumblr, like Tumblr image search keywords. Uh, the Outbound Collective is really good, especially for the States. Um, I mean, mostly I want, just want to look what few people are looking. So I just find like these, these gems. It's like just sending somebody a DM, let's go somewhere. You'd be amazed at how many people would just want to go hang out. Does that help? <laughs> and for anyone that thinks Alex just has a big Instagram following and he can DM anyone, I DM'd Alex. That's true, Joel. And I'm here now, so. Th this is it. This yeah, like, is, that's, 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 that's a myth if you think that even if you don't have a really big following, you can't DM someone. You can always do it and then You can always the try best. and be persistent and be kind and be honest that you honestly want to meet that person. That's what Joel did, and there we are, man. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
It's 4.40 a.m. Run the move. It was a short night. All right, helmet is on. It's quite worrying, this thing looks pretty steep. Let me, let's see if, let's see how this goes. It's getting a bit cloudy. Good. Yeah. Whoa. The right timing. Yep. Yep. If you slip here, you will be fucked up. You will be in pieces, so it's like wet, rocky, slippy, just okay. super careful. We found a ridge that's pretty aggressive. You have to go down it, and I think we're gonna shoot sunrise on there. This is the first moment, because it's pretty cloudy. Looks pretty sketchy. Because they closed. I guess that Back in the Defender, mighty. We're going to edit somewhere really cool. I love this place, it's really peaceful. The Jet Set on Hotel. 2,000 meters up. You'll see. I tried to do my edits the same day I've shot the photos, so it's all fresh in my memory. And I strive, as much as I can, to edit my stuff in, in the environment I shot it. I just feel like I edit better because I'm still in that same mindset of the environment. I can still see how the light is now and how it was this morning. I don't know. And it's also a more timely way for me. It's like, shot this morning, edit this evening, and done. Because now let's edit.